What do we have here? It's been a number of years since I've set foot on your world. Or perhaps it's been moments one tends to lose track. So, once again, the key has been stolen, and a champion returns it to the Sepulchre. Now that the Ebonmere has been restored, you stand before me awaiting your accolades. A pat on your head, a kiss on your cheek. What you fail to realize is your actions were expected and represents nothing more than the fulfillment of your agreement. Don't mistake my tone for displeasure. After all, you've obediently performed your duties to the letter. But we both know this has little to do with honor and oaths and loyalty. It's about the reward, the prize. Fear not. You'll have your trinkets, your desire for power, your hunger for wealth. I bid you to drink deeply from the Ebonmere mortal, for this is where the Agent of Nocturnal is born. The oath has been struck, the die has been cast, and your fate awaits you in the Everglow. Farewell. I'm glad you were able to bring the key back safely. Nocturnal seemed quite pleased with your efforts. I wouldn't take that to heart. It's her way. Think of her as a scolding mother continually pushing you harder to be successful, outwardly sounding angry, but silently content. I assure you, had she been displeased with you, we wouldn't be having this conversation. The circles at the base of the Ebonmere imbue you with powers befitting a Nightingale Agent. The Crescent Moon represents the Agent of Shadow, the Half Moon for the Agent of Subterfuge, and the Full Moon for the Agent of Strife. This is Nocturnal's way of maintaining balance. If you ever feel the need to change your abilities, you can return to the Sepulchre and step onto a different circle. Be warned that once you've chosen, you can't reselect for at least a day. Now, your life as a Nightingale begins. Should the need arise, you'll be summoned to the Sepulchre in order to defend it. The Guild has welcomed me back with open arms. I feel like a void in my life has finally been filled. I only hope that this isn't an ending to things, but actually the beginning. Why, perhaps the greatest crime spree Skyrim's ever known. There are pockets brimming with coin, and coffers overflowing with riches ripe for the picking. We may be nightingales, but in our hearts we're still thieves, and we're damn good at what we do. Agent of Subterfuge utilizes Shadow to cloud the judgment of those around him. By weaving the darkness to their will, this agent can manipulate others into fighting for the Nightingale for a limited time. This agent of Strife can send forth a tendril of pure darkness into the heart of another, causing great injury to them. At the same time, this tether will bolster the agent's own life force, making him stronger. The Agent of Stealth is the master of remaining unseen. They are able to manipulate the darkness and use it to their advantage. On moonlit nights or in darkened rooms, this Agent literally becomes invisible. 